So referee Stefan Hogarth has the puck. Linesman Phil Sewell and Luke Palmer. The Stingrays are in blue. The Caps are in white. And we are underway here on a Tuesday evening at the Hull Arena. Frederick touches the puck into the zone. And the 219s, Lozon and Petran, will scrap for it. And Ricks will skate away with it. Switched inside to Portwood. Puck just got away from him a little. Now it's Galbraith. Couldn't get it past Ricks. Portwood again. Right across the crease and it came through everyone. And it's picked up by Lozon. Watch out for number 73. And now there's been a turnover and Ricks has got Portwood with him. Ricks takes it all the way, feeds Portwood and the short-handed goal for the Capitals. The sucker punch catches the Stingrays out, the turnover and the two-on-one counts. Stingrays have kept it in through Knox. And they can't return it to Lowe's on. Plenty of white shirts in the way of that pass, one of which was Nasland. Opportunity side of the goal, Boyd follow up, Naslund saved by Brown, real scramble here, and it's there from King, 2-0 Capitals, the Stingrays got themselves into a horrible mess and the Caps have made them pay again. It's a goal for Jay King, just his third on the year. The Swede's done a good job, although Meyer has reacted first to the puck in the corner. Caps should be able to move this one clear. It's Barron skating it away and he's taking it all the way through. What a goal! Lauren Barron from end to end and around David Brown. And the Edinburgh Capitals have gone 3-0 up in the first period. It's all Lauren Barron. End to end. Down the right wing boards. Cutting in front. And finishing it off. And the Stingrays... Look as though they're going to head into the intermission, trailing by three. Still 20 seconds left. The Caps will go back. I don't think they'll be too ambitious. And in these final few seconds, Petran just glances up at the clock. And Singray's come in with a token forecheck. And that'll just allow the Caps to kill the final few seconds and end what has been a magnificent period for the visitors. A three goals to nil lead that they will take into the intermission given to them by Portwood shorthanded and King and Barron really would decide a lot if it goes to nil four and the Stingrays really won't have a route back but at one three might just have a game on our hands remember the Stingrays came from two goals down in the third period in their last home game against the Dundee Stars last Sunday night or nine days ago at least well they've got two periods to find three at least three as Galbraith's shot is into the glove a fairly comfortable one to start off the second we will be able to bring you full highlights on the Stingrays YouTube channel tomorrow Osman oh Osman there's a highlight and there's a way back into the game for the whole Stingrays. Dominic Osman, a power play goal. Flashing into the top corner. And for Dominic Osman, it is his 10th of the season. Six of those have been power play goals. Lows on all the way around. Out in front, Tanaka! The Caps were doing everything they could to hold by Tanaka, but he got just enough, and the puck slipped along the ice and into the goal. Ricks with the face-off win, but Galbraith read it, moves in menacingly. Galbraith! Oh, he's lifted in above Heidlovsky! How did he find room for that? From 3-0 down to 3 all. It is Eric Galbraith. And he may not be done yet, Lozon. 
dangerous pass and the Stingrays just about keep hold of it and then Lozon is spun around and dispossessed Collins to Nasland Yarolin on for Nasland opportunity what a goal what a response Collins Caps linking up and the sucker punch for the Edinburgh Capitals is delivered by Greg Collins now the Stingrays get the puck out to neutral ice and they'll be able to take it forward with lows on they'll brace the option outside to Naka trails Pasha moves in lows on the save made by Heidelowski and the Caps will gently move the puck down and that will do it for the second period and the Stingrays still trail but they are back in the game from 3-0 down at the start of the period they're now just one behind at the Edinburgh Capitals second period goals from Osman on the power play to Naka and Galbraith for the Stingrays Collins with the go-ahead goal for Edinburgh no surprise that they're going to start off with their best line tonight of Portwood and alongside Ricks and Emerson they have been superb Collins, Nasland and Yarlin have only been just a tick behind as that puck comes into the Stingrays bench Stingrays have got it back Galbraith across to Lozom back with Galbraith he's going to try and squeeze one in on the backhand still Galbraith fighting his way through oh another turnover the Caps are in trouble the puck is bouncing around no one can settle it down and Heidlowski can now and his Caps teammates will be grateful for that because Puck was bouncing around a lot of six swiping at it Caps moving in, Ricks with the big shot, Brown with the save and he covers up just in time as Emerson ends up in the goal little flash of the red light from the goal judge well, that was definitely player rather than Puck across the goal line Lows on. Nice turn. Little shove from Yarolin. Nice pass to Frederick. Needs a little bit of support. Gets it. What a goal! Lows on. That was the pass he needed. And Lows on buried it. We have a tie game with 3.06 on the clock. And it's on the season for Carl Lozon 43 seconds remaining in the third period the only goal of the third period came from Lozon it's why we're tied at 4-4 big face off and the Caps have won it Portwood Pasha gave him a shove Nasland Pasha will get to this before Nasland the Stingrays will hit it clear and Petram will have to chase it back there is no icing and things settle down surely we haven't got a regulation winner oh that turnover means we might Osman trying to go around Petran can't get it back in a shooting position for Galbraith he will take over final 10 seconds Galbraith still Galbraith save made rebound opportunity back at oh and it sits in the crease and the whistle goes and the Caps were going to clear it anyway but they couldn't have come much closer two ticks left on the clock there's the little backhand attempt from no angle at all from Osman went off Heidlowski beyond him landed in the crease and rolled through it well it's almost certain now that both of these teams will get a point and that we will go to overtime So it's a left-handed shot set lows on taking it so he can't really shoot straight from it Pasha might blocked by Ricks and that means that both teams will take a point and just like the Stingrays last home game against the Dundee Stars we will go to overtime Collins and Ricks will start out as the forwards for the Caps and they'll go up against Lozon and Galbraith five minutes of overtime here 
And Lozon wins the draw. It's back with Omar Pasha. And everything slows down. Pasha couldn't get the pass past the skates of Collins. Lozon, you think, is certainly a player who could make a move one on one and create an odd man rush situation. Not able to so far. Good play by Chilcott. Stops Ricks making progress. Ricks will now try his look down the far side against Pasha. Pasha keeping him to the outside. Shot onto the side of the goal. And now here is Lozon. Got Knox alongside him. He'll try and buy a little time. Drop for Jameson. Picked up by Knox. And that shoots across to Portwood. Jameson comes across and knocks it away. He'll play it across and Tanaka couldn't take it across the blue line. Nasland, this is dangerous. Nasland, what an opportunity. Nasland, Brown saves. And the puck is knocked to the corner. Emerson dispossessed. The Stingrays want to win this. They don't want to shoot out. They want to win it now with Lozon. He's got Meyer in support. Lozon's going to try and win it himself. And he's shot over the top. And then the puck bounces off the referee. And that's not a helpful bounce from the Stingrays' point of view. Nasland, he's got one second left. He's going to be beaten by the clock. And it was saved by Brown in any case. And I think time had expired. It was a little bit of a late hooter. So we will go to a penalty shootout. Just like two previous Stingrays and Caps games have this season. And the Caps have won both of them. But in reality... The Stingrays actually did win one of them when Jordan Myers, what would have been a game-winning shot, went in. He saw it, the fans saw it, but the officials did not. But that was a controversial incident from earlier in the season. It means the Caps are a couple of points close to the Stingrays than they may have been. Stingrays will forget about all of that if they can win this shootout now. The first shooter will be the Edinburgh Capitals, Dennis Ricks. Three rounds of shots with the visiting team shooting first. It's Ricks against Brown. And it's a pad save by David Brown. Brown saved four out of five against the Flyers. Sorry, sorry, against the Dundee Stars in the last shootout. That the Stingrays were involved in. And it will be Jordan Meyer to lead off. He scored the winner in that shootout. Can he put the Stingrays in front? as he goes up against Thomas Heidlowski. Yes, he can! Heidlowski was way out of his crease, and he couldn't get back to cut off the angle as Meyer took it round him on the forehand side. Next up is Jade Portwood. Advantage, Stingrays in the shootout. 1-0 after the first round. Portwood opened the scoring in the first period. Oh, what a backhanded finish that is. A magnificent penalty shot from Jade Portwood. We are at 1-1. Galbraith will take next for the Stingrays. He's already scored one on the night. And he just went for the shot. And there was no way past. Fairly weak effort. Not a lot to it. And Riley Emerson will step forward to give the Caps a chance to go ahead in the shootout. Riley Emerson against David Brown. He's left the puck behind, 
and so he doesn't even get his shot away my goodness oh wow have you ever seen that in an elite league game before I'm not sure I have he didn't get the puck more than four feet which means that Carl Lozon now has a chance to win the game he scored one he's assisted two and he can end it with a goal right here he's done just that for Stingrays move into seventh place in the table and the race for the playoff places has taken a turn in the whole Stingrays favour